Hello, my name is Peter Raymer, and in this video series, we've been looking at chain of command and how to extend code on base Microsoft objects. We've looked at extending code on classes, on tables, on form data source methods, and now we're, we are going to look at form data source field methods. So let's look at an example. Um, if I'm looking at the sales order form, I can see that there is a data source named sales line. Last time we looked at extending a method that shows up underneath a data source under methods. In this example, uh, we can look at code if we need to extend code uh, on a field. So if I expand fields and I look for say item ID, item ID can have various methods on it such as a lookup or modified method. Let's say I need to add additional code here. Um, the way I would do that is I can create a new class um, that is a chain of command class. I'll call this class sales table underscore. I'll call it sales line. Um, item ID and then I need to end it with underscore extension. Then I'll click add. Then there's a few things that I need to do to get set up. First thing I need to do is add an attribute and use the global function extension of. Then I'm going to use the uh, global method form data field string and then I can uh, specify, specify my field string. So I'm going to give it the name of the form first, sales table, then the name of my data source is sales line, and then the name of my field is item ID. And then I can close parentheses, close parentheses again, and then I've got my extension of I'm telling uh, the compiler that I am extending the code in um, this data source field. Next, I need to add the keyword final um, because that's required for all chain of command methods. I've got the underscore extension, which is also needed. The next thing I need to do is copy the method the exact same way that it would appear on um, the form. So in this case, a modified method is going to be public void modified. Let's just pretend that I need to extend this modified method on this item ID. And then last thing I need to do is I need to add the keyword next um, and then modified to call the base method. Sometimes IntelliSense kind of gets in the way here so we can retype the word modified here. Um, now I'm all set. I've got the really base uh, example and then I need to add my code um, to uh, customize this. So um, let's pretend that I want to change what the item name is. I need to first get the uh, data source uh, value um, for this sales line. I can do that by typing form data object and declaring a, f a variable called form data object. I can say this equals uh, any two object this and then I can cast this as a form data object. Then I can get the data source by declaring another variable called form data source. Form data source and I can say this or, or this equals the form data object dot data source. And this will get us the data source of this field. Next, I need to actually cast this as a um, sales line table buffer. So I'm going to declare another variable, sales line, and I'm going to set this equal to our form data source dot cursor. This will get us the active um, data from the currently selected sales line. And let's pretend that you've modified the item ID and we wanted to change something on this table buffer. We could say sales line dot name equals, um, then we can grab something like the name off of the item. So I could say invent table find sales line dot item ID dot item 
name to get the item name off the item master. Now I'm pretty sure base code is going to do something very similar, but the idea is maybe if you wanted to change the item name um, to be something different or have a uh, precursor or prefix, uh, you could do it this way by using chain of command. Um, and then that's really it. Uh, so in this lesson, we've looked at using chain of command to modify methods that are on form data source fields.